Okay, welcome. It is Friday night. Weekend is starting, and that can only mean one thing. It is time for our weekly one-hour live stream. What is up, Matt? How are you doing this evening? Hope your week has been good. No, we're not going to do that. Welcome, welcome everyone. Always nice to have everyone here. So how how did your uh, how did your week go? Week went by pretty fast for me. Yes, we are not exploring uh, Titanic. We are actually exploring uh, Britannic. I guess I'll get this ball rolling um, <laughs> with a fun little story. Let's see. I'm good trying to see how much a Kodak Ektar large format camera lens is worth. Hmm. That I could not tell you. Yeah, it, it really felt like it went by uh, quickly for me. But uh, I got to tell this story. Uh, you'll find it interesting. Uh, no, Bean, this is a different game uh, from the one that you saw me uh, last time you visited the stream. This is actually a different ship completely. Um, this is Titanic's sister ship. Uh, Britannic as she was originally intended to be um, she never actually ended up looking like this because she served in World War one as a hospital ship and she sunk uh, in the Aegean Sea uh, she hit an undersea mine so uh, before she could ever actually enter service in the way she was intended uh, the ship was lost so yeah, I've been looking for other things to uh, to show you guys while we talk, aside from uh, just Titanic every week. Uh, last week we uh, we watched some footage of the USS Arizona in uh, World of Warships. I didn't actually play the game; it was some recorded footage. But uh, yeah, that was in last week's stream. Um, next week we'll be looking at uh, some more Navy vessels, probably Titanic as well. Uh, when you consider the topic, I'll be uh, we'll be uh, discussing. I do have uh, Tim coming back for next week's stream. Uh, for those of you who may uh, remember, uh, he joined me a few weeks ago, and we did a compare and contrast of two Titanic movies: um, the Titanic James Cameron '97 film and 1958's A Night to Remember. Uh, this week, or excuse me, next week, we will be discussing some different ships. But I've got a story I want to tell you guys to, uh, to lead us off for this week. I think you're going to find this quite funny. So, earlier today, I was in a, uh, a different Discord, not, uh, not our Discord, the All-American Travels one, but a different one that is dedicated to uh, Titanic. And we were discussing uh, model ships, and I had mentioned how I have been looking uh, for several months now for a model of the Olympic, and I have been very unsuccessful at finding that. Uh, there is a model that uh, Ravel used to make uh, for the Olympic, but it was discontinued in 2013. Uh, so anyway, we're on that discussion, and one person comes in and... He, I don't know what, what the deal was, but he's like, uh, F Olympic, Olympic is trash, F the whole Olympic class, they're all trash, they're garbage, this and that, blah, 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 and I'll, for the rest of the, I'll simply refer to that person as person A. So after this person, uh, we got a beautiful sunset in this game too, we're going to go on one of the upper decks uh, 
I'm imagining being this is the first time you see this. Um, so we're going to try and get a, a nice vantage point here. Uh, so anyway, I'm I'm reading what this guy's saying. I'm just like, you know, damn, dude, it's, it's we're just talking about model ships here. It's not that serious. So uh, anyway, another person sees what this guy is saying. Uh, I'll call this person person B, and person B just started going off on person A. Uh, he's like. F you, you're trash. You wouldn't know a good ship if it rammed you in the face or something like that. I'm like, Jesus, these dudes are freaking going at it over some models or and over the ships. And uh, I, I thought it was kind of funny that he says you wouldn't know a good ship if you got rammed. You know, the Olympic rammed, you know, uh, the U-103 and sunk it and all that. So uh, they went at it for a few more minutes, and yeah, like I said, the uh, person B was just unloading. I was, I was like, well, I guess you uh, you do not, under any circumstance, mess with the Olympic. You know, you do, you do not attempt to tarnish the good name of the fair ship, the RMS Olympic. I just, I just found that really funny. Uh, I've never seen that happen before, uh, so I just I got a kick out of it. Not gonna lie. And I didn't say anything. I just I just kind of sat there and watched the discussion unfold uh, as it did. So yeah. Anyway, that was uh, kind of how my uh, my afternoon went. <laughs> but look at this. I mean, how can you not look at this and think, "My God, what a beautiful ship"? And the the the, the real kicker of the whole thing was, it's a discord that is dedicated to Titanic. So what I, I wanted to ask the guy, and I ended up not asking him because, you know, they were going at it. I was like, I, I don't care enough to get involved in this discussion. So I just kind of let it go. I wanted to ask the guy if you dislike the Olympic class ships so much, which is fine. I, I don't care if you, what you you know what ships you like and don't it means nothing to me it's not going to change my mind on anything but if you dislike the olympic class so much why are you in a discord server that is dedicated to one of them <laughs> seriously Bean, what about you how is uh how has your week gone Take a look at some of the insides. Well, let's go check out the stern area real quick. Let's uh, let's get back up on boat deck. Of the lighting uh, of the the sky at night in this game, it's it's amazing. We'll look around on the inside a little bit, and then we'll uh, we'll switch over to how the ship actually looked in real life in her uh, HMHS form. Since uh, I know I'm for sure I've got someone in here who has not seen this ship before. Matt, how's your schedule uh, this weekend? I imagine you're working uh, on Saturday and Sunday as always. Is it one more week to TCM? I, 
I knew it was getting close, but I didn't know what the exact uh, release date uh, for it is. All right. Let's go take a look at the uh, the interiors. Work Saturday off Sunday. There you go. Oh, by the way, for uh, for our weekly viewers, uh, if you haven't noticed behind me, uh, the RMS Mauritania is making its debut on the stream tonight. Let's get a close-up view of her. If you watch the video, part two uh, of Building the Mauritania came out this morning. That was this week's video. And here she is, RMS Mauritania. Only ship to hold the blue ribbon longer than her, of course, was the SS United States. Uh, and by the way, I'm mostly finished with my book. I've showed this to you guys for a few weeks, uh, Dead Wake, The Last Voyage of the Lusitania, or excuse me, The Last Crossing of the Lusitania. Uh, I am to the point, uh, you can see my little bookmark in here. It's... Um, I'm to the point where the uh, the attack has happened, uh, the ship has sunk, and we're about to get into uh, the investigations, the inquiries, all that stuff. That's where I'm at in the book. I was hoping to shoot Saturday, but I can't find the hose for the fog machine. Uh, exactly what type of hose it, is it that you need? You may have told me and I just don't remember. This uh, Britannic's Grand Staircase would have looked, um, you see the big pipe organ right here, uh, that would have been unique to Britannic. Um, Titanic and Olympic did not have that. Of course, none of these furnishings were in the actual ship. Uh, at the time she was serving as a hospital ship, I mean it was bare bones. For those of you who, of course, uh, know the ship, uh, you you already are aware of that. Yeah, the uh, the uh, person A in the the Discord discussion I was telling you about earlier uh, said one of their reasons for uh, not liking uh, the Olympic class was the uh, person A felt the ship's both interior and exterior were ugly. What? Uh, yeah, no, can't agree with you on that. Billy, what's up? Hey, check your Discord, Billy. I found uh, copies of those games, uh, or the game I was telling you about today. Uh, I posted pictures of that and uh, in your Discord and in mine. So there's a hose that Spirit sells that will clamp on the nozzle of the fog machine I have, but it's not in stock at the store, so I'll have to order online if it's not in by next week. So did you order it at the store already, or no? Yeah, be sure to check out my friend Bill Keys. He is he is a streamer on YouTube. Uh, he mainly plays Call of Duty, but he also plays various other games from time to time as well. Uh, so if you're into Call of Duty, uh, definitely go check him out. My idea of just fitting a hose will not work because the plastic will melt. It needs a metal bracket. I would, you didn't order it yet. I would just order it now. I mean, why take the chance of waiting for it to come in and you not getting it on time?
let's go to the Georgian uh, suite because I think that one looks better than the other one. August 29th, 1915. <laughs> like how they, they come up with these dates. Uh, so the ship sunk actually on November 21st, 1916. Yeah, Britannic would have been the most luxurious of all three of the liners, uh, without question. The ships back then were just like they are today. You, um, as each uh, successive successive or ship comes out, or the next one comes out. They always make changes and upgrades that they believe will improve on the previous design. I'm going to go, uh, let's switch to the hospital mode uh, for a few minutes so uh, we can actually take a look at how the ship was as she existed in real life. We're just going to do a little free cam around the um, around the exterior of the ship. Now, fun little fact: um, uh, because my credit card is due, and that's more of a priority. Yeah, I can definitely understand that. One thing you notice the hull, uh, the sides of the hull are pretty dirty. You look down here, you see all this black. On these old steamships, this is why they never painted hulls white back then, because you would load all the coal, all the coal, in through the sides of the ship. And you see these little triangles here. That had something to do with it as well. I think these would like hoist uh, the loads of coal up, and then you had these door openings down here in the lower parts of the ship that would actually uh, put the coal in and uh, the coal would get all over the sides of the ship, dirty them up, and that's why the ship's hull, the lower hulls were painted black. But all the hospital ships were uh, like this. They all had, the, at least the British ships, were all the same color scheme, all white with the green stripe and the giant red crosses. Um, Mauritania up there, she also served as a hospital ship, and she was painted in the same color scheme as this. And she was also a, um, a troop ship, just like the Olympic was, and at the end of her career, she uh, was converted to a cruise ship, and she was again painted all white for that. And those were the, uh, that was the final paint scheme that the ship had when it went to, uh, to the scrapyard. Yeah, this is how Britannic looked in real life. Even the still nice uh, in her hospital scheme colors. Um, of course, all the, uh, the discoloration, uh, you know, from the, uh, the coal and whatnot makes her look a lot older than what she actually was. We should go in here. Maybe you can, no, it's just an empty room. It's going to be great when. Um, Tom Linsky releases his Lusitania version of this, which is essentially going to be the same thing as what you're seeing here. And then we'll have something else to look at uh, besides Titanic and Britannic. Uh, next week we'll have some uh, footage of the Arizona coming back to the stream. Uh, some footage, uh, and that footage is from World of Warships. Uh, going to probably uh, insert some footage of the kid that uh, Matt here has cursely provided to us. Let's look at the little lifeboat down there.
or if you can go under. I think you can go underwater. Yeah, you can see the uh, see actually below the water line there. Here you go. Here's the little boat. Yeah, Britannic did have a few boats that were uh that were I believe I think they were motorized. I'm not a hundred percent certain. All right, well, we'll see how she looks at night in her hospital colors. So what was your uh, your photo shoot supposed to be? You said you were trying to do uh, a photo shoot this weekend. The sun's actually pretty bright. See how it looks on the side of the ship. Yeah, we'll get that nice sunset. That must that's Kia. Over there to the uh, behind the ship. Ship actually sunk, I think it was like four miles or so from uh, Kia. I forget the exact mileage, but it, it wasn't much. Trying to come up with some ideas of uh, what to stream during the uh, month of October. Um, the only thing that can rival my love of ships and history, horror. Anything and everything horror related. I love horror movies. I love horror games. I love horror books, novels, stories, whatever. Want to shoot with the guitar player? He's going to be shredding on the guitar while I pump fog through. Oh yes, yes, yes. You told me about that. Uh, about that particular uh, photo shoot. Yeah, I definitely got to think of some stuff to uh, stream while uh, or during the month of October. That might be the only time we take a break from all the history and the ship history, the maritime history, all that good stuff would be in October. Maybe I might actually uh, break format and play a few horror games. Um, oh yes, ho the month of October will definitely be horror being. I can pretty much guarantee you that. Looks so interesting with the green lights running from bow to stern. Yeah, I don't know if I want to play games. I don't know if I want to discuss movies. Um, might do uh, maybe a combination of those things. I haven't figured it out yet. If I can get, uh, let's see. The spirit store is absolutely huge this year. Okay. I'm ready to uh, to check it out, but I, I've got this rule about going to spirits. Um, I absolutely hate August. Hate it. Worst month of the year. October is my favorite month of the year. So I, I can't go to spirits in August. It just kind of kills the Halloween mood for me before it even gets here. So... Um, won't do it. Ooh, that bean, that is a that is a brilliant idea. Uh, bean says maybe recount some ghost stories of the ships. Um, so I don't know of any particular ghost stories involving the Olympic class. Um, 
The only one that theoretically could have some is Olympic because she's the only ship that had a really long career in so maybe look into Olympic, but I know for sure that the Queen here is considered one of the most haunted places in the United States. And there have been shows and documentaries about hauntings on the Queen Mary. Brilliant idea. I love it. I'd love to get someone to, uh, if someone would be interested in looking up stories uh, about the ghost stories about the Queen Mary and would actually want to come on uh, on the stream and discuss those that would be a fantastic stream I would love to do that okay let's go take a look around at her uh, interior at, in her hospital ship uh, form. So uh, that that would be a great way to both focus on horror and on the Queen Mary at the same time. Queen Mary is absolutely one of my favorite ships. So I. Uh, I, I love the idea. I'm that's gonna happen. I'm down for that. In fact, let me write this down right now so I don't forget about it. We'll put uh Queen Mary Ghost Stories Stream. So that would definitely be one uh, I'm gonna add to the list. One thing um, I kind of am thinking about doing also is maybe uh, do some movie reviews of like really good horror. And when I say good horror, I mean, uh, well, good is a subjective term. You know, that can mean a lot of different things to a lot of different people. But I would definitely say uh, good horror would be uh, the original Halloween, the 1978 John Carpenter movie. Uh, maybe do some other uh, John Carpenter movies. Uh, as for the the weekly videos, I am planning to. Uh, I've already got kind of got that stuff planned out. What I just don't have planned out yet is uh, what the live streams are going to be. But I think we just figured out one. I have an idea for your stream, but you're doing it without me. Well. Uh, what is your idea? Um, rather than I do, it depends on if I would need someone else to have the discussions with. I mean, it, it doesn't really have to be you. Maybe I could find somebody else who's interested. But anyway, uh, hit me with it. What, what is your idea? Maybe recount some ghost stories of the ships. Uh, review Ghost Ship. You know, I just watched that movie recently, like uh, maybe a couple of months ago. And I actually, I like the movie. I mean, even rather a sh it's a ship or not, it's actually irrelevant. I just kind of dig the movie. Uh, go okay. So Matt's idea is go stay the night in the Myrtles, or, or spend the night in the Myrtles and live stream it. I would do that in a heartbeat. I don't know if they would allow that, um, and I don't know if uh, for those who may or may not know what the Myrtles is. Um, the Myrtles is a uh, it's an old plantation house uh, in St. Francisville, Louisiana. And it's allegedly one of the most haunted places in America. Huh. I, like I said, I don't know if they would allow that. Um, would I do it? Hell yeah. It would blow your mind how many people uh, 
have told me over the years they would not go to that because it's supposedly haunted and all this stuff. I am, for me, I really I haven't really stopped to see to show you guys this. We've just been kind of wandering around. Look how different the Grand Staircase looks when uh, it was a hospital ship. I mean, you still got you know the beautiful dome above it. Notice, honor and glory are gone. The, that being the clocks, uh, the beautiful pipe organ is gone. Yeah, so many people have told me over the years that they would absolutely not, under any circumstances, go into a sleep in a place like that because it's so haunted. That doesn't bother me in the slightest. The type of thing that scares me is something uh, that can really happen. And what I mean is... um. I still want to switch back to RMS mode just for a sec so I can show you guys what the swimming pool would have looked like because it was considerably nicer than what was on Olympic and Titanic. I don't know. Movies like Halloween scared me uh, more than uh, The Exorcist and, you know, ghost stories. Not to say that movies like that uh, didn't scare me. But the, the, the tangible, you know, a guy in a mask stalking people, that can really happen. Can a haunted house really happen? Yeah, I mean, I don't know. Wait. So, wait a sec. They redid the inside of this ship, too. I legit thought they just gave it a paint job and equipped it with metal, medical gear. Um, I'm almost certain that they, the ship was furnished uh, it was as it was originally intended to be, and right before it was supposed to go into service, um, that's when the Admiralty, the British Admiralty, uh, called it into service as a hospital ship. It successfully served as a hospital ship uh, for a while, and at one point, and I forget exactly when during the war, but yeah, here's... The swimming pool, it's a, it's a whole lot nicer than what was on Olympic and Titanic. Um, at some point, the Admiralty uh, eventually told White Star Line, you can have the ship back, send it back, uh, make it be a passenger ship, uh, refurnish it, you know, send the ship out in the way it was supposed to be. Well, uh, before that could happen, um, they recalled the ship back into service as a hospital ship. And in this second uh, run as a hospital ship is when she struck the mine and sunk. I always learn something new on your streams. Well, good. I'm, I, that thrills me more than anything, really. I, that's about the highest compliment you can give me. Thank you. I, just, I love talking about this stuff and sharing my knowledge with it. And, uh, if you learn something new in the process, I think that's fantastic. I learn, I still learn stuff about these ships all the time. I, I've said before, I, I do not consider myself an expert on any of these ships, but I am an, as you know, an avid enthusiast and I, I probably know more about them, uh, than a good number of people, but I, I wouldn't consider myself, you know, the, uh, uh, guys like Mike Brady or Tom Linsky, uh, Ken Marshall, anything like that. People in the, the ship community, you know who those names are. All right, let's switch back to hospital mode and go look at swimming pool, how she looked in hospital mode. And this, the, uh, the swimming pool, as you can see now, it looks very different. This is more in line with how it would have looked on uh, Olympic and Titanic. Very bare bones. There, you can see the beams going across the ceiling. That's how it would have looked in Olympic and Titanic.
Yeah, you know, I was mentioning that Lusitania one earlier. Um, again, that game is going to be a lot like this. You can explore the ship, uh, the vast majority of the ship, interior and exterior, and there is going to be a sinking mode, which will play out a whole lot quicker than this one, obviously, because uh, Britannic took 53 minutes to sink. The Lusitania took, sunk in 18. So the Britannic literally took three times as long to sink as the Lusitania did. And think about the fact that Britannic took 53 minutes to sink. Titanic took two hours and 20 minutes to sink. Let's go look at the Georgian suite again uh, as it is in hospital mode. You see, even in hospital mode, uh, I mean, yeah, it's, it, obviously it's nowhere near as uh, luxurious. Yet, even this would have been first class on some other ships back in that time. Now, anyone who would have said the, uh, the Olympic class was not beautiful or luxurious, I mean whatever just don't agree with that now I'm going to have to find some oh <laughs> I know who would come and talk some horror movies with me in October if, uh, if I do a, a horror movie stream I know exactly who would do that stream with me? Uh, HMHS exterior. Yeah, we can go look around the. Uh... Actually, I want to. Let's go look at RMS exterior at night so you can really see how beautiful this ship would have been. Even more so than what she actually was. All right, here we go, Britannic at night. How can anyone not look at that and not think it's amazing is beyond me. I'm going to be right back, chat. I'm going to go grab a water. Uh, I'll only be going a second. Okay, back. So I'm looking at uh, chat again. <clears throat> the Bean says, trying to think of this person who would talk horror films is somebody I know. <laughs> Maybe. Possibly. Let's go have a stroll on deck. <laughs> a few months later gif <laughs> well I, I i don't know if do i i have to ask the person first because uh if they say no then it's kind of pointless for me to tell you who it is and uh if they say yes we need to figure out if we want it to be a surprise or not It moves so much. You walk the deck so much faster in free cam. I want to walk the deck like you're actually supposed to.
What I would really love to do uh, for October would be to live stream um, that game, The Quarry, that I bought last year. Because I would love to be able to have the chat interact with it. Because um, you get to a point, the game kind of plays out like a movie. And you get to a point each time where uh, you have to make a, a decision on what to do. And it affects uh, future uh, events in the game. And it would be great to have the chat uh, interact with that, but I tried it once before, and uh, unfortunately, my uh, my PC uh, was lagging so hard trying to stream it. It plays fine, uh, just playing you know regular. But when I tried to live stream it, it bogged down the PC. It bogged down my internet. It was a nightmare trying to do it. So um, I I can't do it that way. Let's see. What is being said? Uh, thinking it's not Tim. Uh, I don't know if Stars is into it. I was thinking you'd try for Beware of Bears, but I think he might be reclusive. Hmm. Uh, I got to talk to the person first. And they said, I, I don't know if they want to keep it a surprise or not. Let's see. Uh, oh, Matt says, what did you think of the ship that flips vertical? When I first watched that, I thought it was something brand new. I had no idea they could make a ship uh, 50 years ago that could literally flip in the water. That's pretty unique. Uh, never seen anything like that before. I wish we could go in here. You can go in the uh, the Palm Court and the uh, the Veranda Cafe in Honor and Glory, but uh, not in this game. I should imagine being able to walk this. On any one of the Olympians, I would love to stroll the A-Deck Promenade, especially at night. And for real, my dad told me about it. It was doing some work in the Gulf, so I went look it up. Cool. Yeah, and I, I, it's one thing I've been wanting to say uh, since... Uh, both of you guys are in my Discord, and uh, if you would like to come join us on Discord, please do. Um, it's open to anyone and everyone, All American Travels. We do have a Discord. It's uh, we, we have a nice little, little community going on over there. It's very interactive, very cool, chill people, not a whole lot of arguing and BS going on. You know, we talk about all kind of different topics. Uh, let's see. Saw that ship myself, surprised it had been out since the 60s, and now I'm just hearing about it. Yeah, me too. I, um, I never even knew that such a ship could exist. Hmm. Sorry, I didn't want to yawn in front of everybody on camera. But yeah, uh... Speaking of Discord, we, we have a channel in the Discord server where we talk about ships. And uh, obviously, it's mostly me that posts in it because I'm one of, I'm pretty much the only ship nerd in there. But we do get some other posts about some ships. Um, but I just want to say to my folks in my Discord, um, that channel isn't just about for me to post, you know, about Titanic and stuff. If you guys want to post about other ships, I mean, please do. I love to discuss any type of ship, not just these old liners and uh, battleships. Like we were talking about uh, the Disney cruise ships earlier today. And yeah, Matt posted about this, uh, this 
ship that was built in the 1960s that, like, again, it literally flips up and down in the water. Yeah, yawning all of a sudden. Let's go look at the bridge. So being tangenting for a minute, um, have you decided if you are going to get the Texas Chainsaw Massacre game? If I remember correctly, uh, last time we discussed it, you seemed kind of on the fence about it. I myself have not yet made up my mind. One thing I do prefer about this one so far over Honor and Glory, and Honor and Glory will change eventually, we can actually go up here. I'm giving serious, serious thought to uh, buying a Titanic model. So probably this one right here and converting it to an Olympic, if it's possible. I've been trying to think of ways to do it. Uh, I have it pre you got the game pre-downloaded now. So I take that I take that to mean you're at least going to try it. My internet cut out, so everything you said after you looked at the camera and said your Discord name, I did not catch. Well, that's a bummer, but it, you haven't missed too much. Alright, so this is how she would have been if you were walking the decks at night on Britannic. Uh, for real. Oh, I need a, I'd like to get a really nice model of Britannic too. And I've got this little guy right here. And it's pretty cool for, I mean, for a 3D print it's not bad. I painted a few pieces up here on front just to make it look a tiny bit more accurate uh, to the real ship. Of course, it's impossible to paint all of this uh, up top because the, the thing is so tiny. I, I would lose my mind trying to do that. And just a reminder of anyone uh, interested, um, again, my buddy Bill Keys is going live. Uh, again, he plays Call of Duty. He is a streamer on YouTube, if you're interested. Of course, stick around with me uh, before you go. But if you're going, you know, after uh, you want to watch someone else after you, we're done here, you know, definitely go check him out. We'll be wrapping up in about 10 minutes because uh, we're going to stick to our, our one-hour time schedule. I mean, uh, so yeah, I'm going to see how much I like it. If that's good enough, I may buy. I do not think I want to wait until I see what they do with F-13 when it is taken off the server list. Um, the Friday the 13th game and what I believe is going to happen is that 
once the sale is over, like once they can legally no longer sell sell the game, it's gonna be it's gonna be taken off all the stores, but people will still be able to play peer to peer, I imagine, and which is how the cream has existed, or the game has uh, existed in the, the past few years anyway. You know, they haven't had servers in years. I did try to get the Titanic mod installed in Gran Turismo, not Gran Turismo, Grand Theft Auto, and unfortunately, uh, I was not able to do that. It'd have been nice to actually be able to physically steer the ship around, and from what I've seen, uh, it's actually, uh, Grand Theft Auto has a really decent looking Titanic model, so I really wanted to do that. So uh, Bean being a horror movie uh, aficionado uh, and a fan of horror like me, uh, this little room we're staring at right here, um, this was a morgue. And of course they kept it all the way here at the very tip of the stern. Uh, you can imagine um, for the smell, you know, you want to keep that as far back aft as you can keep it. I don't know why they had these little these canvas or these tarps or whatever on the ship. And just a reminder again, um, we do have an All American Travels Discord server. Um, we have a we have a small but chill community, you know. We we don't have any drama going on over there. We we talk about all sorts of random things. It's a good way also to uh, find out what's coming uh, to the channel before it actually gets there. You know, uh, folks have uh, already seen the Mauritania uh, model if they're in my Discord, and they know some other models I'm working on. So yeah, if you like to, if you want to have a little. Uh, inside scoop on what's coming uh join the discord server we we talk about ships of course we talk about horror we talk about video games we talk movies we talk tv shows um we one tv show uh has a own has its own channel dedicated to it which absolutely drives me nuts which makes me of course chuckle <laughs> let's see uh Concerning the F-13 game, what Gunn said was that it would be on through at least the end of 2024, but some think they may remove all things not available at level 1, and if they remove all Jasons and whatnot, yeah, skip that. I agree completely. Um, hopefully they will, uh, for people who still want their content in that game, uh, you can only hope at this point that they will have, do... Uh, Client side saving, that way you can keep all your JSONs and whatnot. Uh, no drama, I need to remind you about the Star Wars sequels. <laughs> it is not my fault that you and Tim can't control your emotions when it comes to Star Wars. <laughs> oh, and he says, Morg, nice. Uh, if you're not the one who's going to be in it on a permanent basis. Uh, yeah, so here's one of the things they use uh, the promenade decks for. Yeah, this, I have to go back and make sure. This is actually B deck. Hospital rooms right here. And one of the reasons the Britannic sank in the first place See, Britannic, uh, I believe Britannic had six watertight compartments breached. It was either five or six. If she had five, I think even six maybe, she would have been able to stay afloat. Um, what really did her in, let's go ahead and look at uh, 
let's we're gonna we got about five minutes left so we're gonna switch to exterior view of HMS during the daytime because that's when she sank um despite being told not to have the portholes open on the ship because the ship was in uh, be, you know it was a hospital ship it was wartime um, a lot of the portholes here were open on the ship and not just the starboard side but on both sides but this is a side that uh, we're looking right about the area where uh, the ship hit the mine it was right up here at the bow on the forecastle, maybe at the well deck as far that might have been the furthest back I forget the exact location but it was up here so I mean you've already got flooding in the ship from uh, the hole left by the mine and then you've got I forget exactly how much water they said but how think of imagine all these not all but a good bit of these portholes open and I think it was like three and a half tons of water per second or something like that is, is coming into the ship I'd have to go back and read the exact amounts but I mean we're talking tons of water through multiple portholes and there's no stopping it I mean the the ship the, there's no way it could have survived that if the portholes were closed she may have survived and if she wouldn't have survived she would have lasted a whole lot longer than she actually did they may have even been able to beach her which is what the captain was in, uh, originally trying to do was beach the ship So, uh, it's a shame that this ship never got to be what she was intended to be. But, you know, she did her duty. And, of course, any loss of life is terrible, but only 30 people were lost in the Britannic uh, disaster. And, unfortunately, um, it was uh, some people's own doing. And... And what I mean is, lifeboats were being launched before the captain gave orders to launch the lifeboats because he was uh, in, a, in a failed attempt trying to steer the ship towards the island of Kia over there and beach the ship and stop it from sinking. So he did not give the order to abandon ship right away. Yet people over here on the port side were launching lifeboats, and I believe it was this one right here. No, this would have been too close. It was one of these ones further forward. It launched. Uh, the propellers were already, the port side propeller here was already coming out of water. This guy right here, lifeboat, is grazing the side of the ship the whole way uh, as the ship's going forward. The lifeboat's going backwards. Lifeboat meets the propeller that's still spinning because, again, the captain did not stop the ship. He was trying to beach it. And uh, 30 people uh, lost their lives on that lifeboat. <clears throat> well, we're at the one-hour mark here, so I think this will be a good space or a good time to wrap it up. Um, Matt, uh, thanks for coming by as always. Always appreciate chatting with you. Bean, thanks for coming by as well. You know, appreciate you coming in and hanging out with me. Uh, live streams are every Friday evening at 7 o'clock p.m. Central Standard Time for one hour. We have a weekly video that comes out every Friday morning at 7 a.m. And it's, of course, always something uh, travel related. Uh, we have the quiz of the day, which is every Monday through Friday at 9 a.m. Central Standard Time. Uh, we have the poll of the day, which is every weekday at 10 a.m. And the video short of the day every weekday at 11 a.m. So we have a lot of content uh, that comes out each week. We've got the Discord server you can join. Uh, the channel is growing. It's continuing to evolve. And... Um, yeah, I, I appreciate everyone uh, who supports the channel. I really do. So having, having said all that, uh, that's going to wrap up this week. 
Thanks again for anyone and everyone that stopped by. I appreciate the support, you know, as always. And until the next time, drive safely.